Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please join us for uh, the novena to the Holy Spirit, day five, Tuesday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. Enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today we reflect on the gift of understanding. Understanding as a gift of the Holy Spirit perfects our faith by enabling us to penetrate to inner meaning of revealed truth in a way that transcends human reason. Our natural way of knowing is elevated by intuition and insight into the things of God. By faith we know them, but by the gift of understanding we learn to appreciate and relish them. This appreciation radicates outward to the other because our Catholic faith is no longer just a matter of information from a book, but a way of living rooted in intimacy with the mysteries of Christ. May the Holy Spirit attend our hearts to a deeper spiritual understanding of these mysteries, so that as agents of a new Pentecost in our time, we may draw others to Christ and his church. Let us pray. Father, send the Holy Spirit to enlighten our minds and hearts, giving us knowledge and understanding of the mysteries of salvation. May he teach and instruct us, the peoples of the Diocese of Toledo, so that we may never waver in our faith. But by the gift of understanding, may we be, may we be ready to give an answer to all who ask the reason for the hope that is within us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, by the whose spirit we are governed, by whose protection we are kept safe, extend over us your mercy, and give and give ear to our supplications that the faith of those who believe in you may always be sustained by your gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us recite together St. Augustine's of Hippos' prayer to the Holy Spirit. Breath in me, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, that my, my thoughts, thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, O Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Draw my, my heart, O Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, and I love but what is holy. holy. Strengthen me, O Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit to defend all that is holy. Guard me, then, Holy Spirit, that I always may be holy. Amen. Mary, seat of understanding. Pray for us. Saint Philip Neri. Pray for us. Name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son.